Welcome to another episode of Robbie Hamlin's Cringe Golf. <laughs> I don't know why I do the quotes. Anyway, today I'm testing something out with my swing. I'm choking down, or up, however you want to call it, an inch to an inch and a half lower than I usually do. I, mean, I don't usually choke down, I'm usually right there close. But if you've ever wondered how your clubs would play a little shorter, um, that's kind of what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna play the par five, uh, par four, the dog leg right, a par three and then a short par four and I'm gonna be going down on my grips a little bit you know I, I, I do believe in in, uh, in having yourself fit I haven't been able to afford brand new clubs where I could get fit uh, but I always thought that was a good idea uh, but I have had the lie angles checked and had them bumped up a degree uh, so I sort of kind of got fit but this would you know you want to see what it would feel like uh changing going down or making shorter clubs or whatever this is a good way to do it so that's what i'm going to do and we'll see how it plays out you never know it's a little bit of windy so you know kind of might cut into some of that top. this drive right here is a standard size it's a cobra a dig uh 65 gram shaft uh regular flex so Cut down to my right there. So I got about that much of the butt sticking out, but <laughs> the grip. So I'm gonna be swinging from there. So I'm gonna see what kind of control I have. thing is about that I don't have any real I don't have the Arcos running right now because I only brought one phone the other one's dead that I use for <laughs> for my sister and it, it went the direction I wanted it to go maybe not the distance uh, but I kind of I kind of messed up my swing right there at the top and not that I have a great one but uh, it works and I'm able to use it most of the time I hit it down the fairway so you know it is what it is. Alright, gonna on the green so trying instead of trying to attack that pin let's get it up there I'll save part there so First part of the part six choking down video. <laughs> I didn't really, I mean, I choked down on the six iron, but that was a smart play there. So, play smarter, not harder, right? Yeah, usually I make that. I try to hit that target. I, I want to send it around a corner. This dog leg. I'm gonna be about 100 yards away from the green. There's a 100 yard marker down there. I try to get through them, but the you know, either play way over or you play short of those of the tree, the three trees down here. And if you can fade around it, that'd be great. I almost pulled a low fade. One thing about my uh, Adelia 
Rogue 65 ground shaft. It is made for the lower kick, and that's what I want out here. It's a run. It's dry ground, take advantage and get more distance. I hit one 322 the other day, and it wasn't high in there, it was like a bullet. So great for the heck for West Texas wind. Because we get kind of windy. Anyway, too much talking, it bore you to death. You just clicked off, went to somebody else's video. <laughs> there you go. Well, the tree did me no favor. I'm in the <laughs> in the fairway. And I was trying to cut the corner. See, here's the tree that I hit right there. So it didn't. It got even. So you hit me. Here's your ball. Not too bad if I can get up and down from par for par here. We'll see. So, so yeah, about the right distance. It's just a little right. Right distance, right. <laughs> I think it's the right side of that hill right there. Let it run. Maybe. Oh. Too much off of it. Can't blame the wind. The wind stopped it. Got a long time. I'm blaming the greens on that one. Double bogey. Anyway. Uh, so, I don't know if it made a difference with choking down or not on the, I mean, maybe I got, I got a pretty good distance, pretty good hit out of it. So maybe something to it, but, oh well, two more holes. Afraid that I use an eight iron on there, kind of hit more of a lower trajectory shot, and I kind of picked up on it. But it's on the edge of the green, so I'll take it. It could have been way over, or way short, or into the tree, or over in the far right, number five, uh, number nine fairway, or in the number seven. <laughs> anyway, let's try to make pretty. I'll take par on that. Oh, get a little short. That little hybrid comes in handy for these little, little shots around the green. Oh, kick right. I would be on the. We'd probably be over the green if it hit. That's the cobra. Yeah. yeah I <laughs> All right, that was a bomb. I mean, it went quite a ways. Uh, it should be right of the green, maybe past it. If, I'd hit, if it wouldn't hit something in front, right in front of the green, it'd probably be way over it. Ever since I switched to that stronger grip, I'm hitting. When I do it, I didn't do it earlier. I've been hitting further, but. And then gripping down may actually help that some. Although my swing probably doesn't look all that great in front. Ah, I don't know. Anyway. Well, I don't know if it helped uh, choke it down, help me too much. It did feel a little stronger than I was able to hit further, actually, not shorter. 
and control the ball uh, more more straight ball flight. Um, time will tell if I'm going to hang on to that. Um, I, you know, all except for a double bogey, I got par and everything. And had a pretty chance. I had an eagle chance on that one, on this last one. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to play a few more holes just for fun.